Uh, I was able to get into the middle of uh, where all the rioting, or excuse me, the looting was taking place. Um, it was right across from the check cashing store that's been referenced earlier, across from the CVS. Um, I was in there, and some a group of people instinctively pulled me aside. They had blue bandanas on their face. They self-identified themselves as Crips members, and they said they were going to keep me safe. Um, I, I did wander away from them to take some pictures of the CVS looting, at which point a man with a hoodie pulled tightly over his face ran right up to me with, with uh, mace and sprayed me and said, kick it out, trying to get my cell phone. So I, I retreated back to that area where the looting continued. Um, there's one business that's not being looted, and it's one that has an off-duty officer with a shotgun standing in the vestibule. Uh, so that's the mood out here. Uh, I, I can also tell you that uh, you know the police cars were speeding through North Avenue for, uh, for reasons I can't understand. Um, North Avenue, the main thoroughfare here, where this is all taking place was not shut down. So regular folks were driving through, uh, they were getting stopped, um, and, and police tried to come through and people just picked up anything they could find and were just pelting and pelting, pelting these cars as they came through. One unmarked car uh, almost lost control. It, 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 it fishtailed, it was spinning around, and he was able, somehow able to, to, to pull through and go wherever he was going. So it's, uh, it's, it's tense times out here right now. Have you ever seen anything like this in Baltimore? These are live pictures, by the way, Justin. We're showing our viewers a, a, a variety store, including a store that sells cell phones, uh, is being trashed right now, is being looted. Uh, people are just waiting in line to go in there and steal stuff as much as they can. It's hard to believe this is going on in your city. Yeah, it is. And, and people I was talking to were saying that you know, people, it's really it's just a, a situation of opportunity. People see other people doing it, and they think, well, I can jump in there. And at one point... Uh, there was a, a, a check cashing store that was broken into, and it had been uh, sufficiently ransacked, and it seemed like no one was there. And I, I guess word must have gotten out through the city because a huge throng of people at, at one point just came rushing it and all jumped inside. Uh, very uh, intense. And, and here, these are live pictures that we're showing our viewers. Uh, police vehicles going through, and they're being hit by rocks and stones from people on the sidewalks. Uh, and it's, oh, there it is. You just saw that. Oh, that's, People are very uh, emboldened right I, now. I, I they are just, not afraid of the police. Yeah, I, I take it, uh, Justin, that what we're showing our viewers now, this, this is video that you shot a little while ago. Police vehicles just right. driving through and they're being pelted. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and mind you, there's other, there's regular civilians who are uh, driving through that intersection at that point, and, and those officers came through, and, yeah, people just picked up anything. People are not afraid of the police right now. They feel very emboldened. They feel very much in charge, um, and they are, you know, they are showing it.